Today, companies are not hiring data analysts anymore. They're hiring something completely different, but most people miss the memo. And I'm not talking about some subtle shifts in job requirements. I'm talking about a complete transformation of what companies actually need. And while thousands of other aspiring analysts are out there grinding through SQL tutorials and Tableau courses, preparing for roles that barely exist anymore. And the worst part, most courses, boot camps, and even college degree programs are still teaching the old playbook because they have no idea of what's actually happening in the job market right now. In this video, I'm gonna show you exactly why the traditional data analyst path is becoming a dead end, and more importantly, what you should be targeting instead. We're talking about roles that start around 90K, have less competition, and actually future-proof your career against AI and automation. Now, whether you're just starting out or you've been stuck applying for data analyst roles with no luck, this shift in your strategy could be the difference between landing interviews and getting ghosted for another six months. Now, this is your first time here. I'm Kadisha, and five years ago, I was delivering pizzas and Amazon packages for $8 an hour. And today I am running a community of over 60,000 current and aspiring data professionals. And I've helped thousands of other career changers break into data analytics without going back to school and wasting money on courses that just don't work. I have watched this career field transform in real time. And my only goal is to help you cut through the noise of the endless information online to get you where you wanna be in the least amount of time. So stick around because by the end of this video, you're gonna know exactly which role to target and the four core skills that separate you from the 99% of applicants on the job market. And to position yourself as a solution companies are desperately trying to hire for. But first, let me tell you why the data analyst dream is turning into a nightmare for most people. Let's start with the hard truth number one. The basic Excel plus reporting analyst path that worked five years ago, it's over. Done. Companies don't want people who just make charts anymore. I was talking to a hiring manager last week and she told me something that would terrify every aspiring analyst out there. She said, we get thousands of resumes from people who say they can do SQL and Tableau, but what we can't find are people who can actually solve problems end to end. So here's what's really happening. Traditional data analyst roles are getting squeezed from both sides. On the bottom, AI tools like ChatGPT can write basic queries and code and create simple visualizations. On the top, companies want people who can do more than just analyze. They want builders, automation, and strategic thinkers. So if your skill set stops at, I can make a dashboard, you're competing with robots. And guess what? The robots are actually getting better every day and they don't need health insurance. But here's what actually gets interesting. While basic analyst roles are disappearing, there's a massive shortage of people who could actually bridge the gap between analysis and engineering. Companies are literally throwing money at this problem. So what role should you be targeting instead? The full stack data analyst. Some companies may call it the analytics engineer or the business intelligence engineer, but it's all the same concept. Someone who bridges the gap between traditional analysis and data engineering. And before you panic thinking, I'm not technical enough for this, let me stop you right there. It's not about becoming a software engineer. This is about becoming a person who can take a business problem and solve it completely, not just analyze it. Here's the difference. A traditional analyst may get a request like, why are our sales down? And they build a dashboard showing sales trend. A full stack data analyst gets the same request and they will automate a data pipeline that will pull sales data from multiple sources, create self-updating dashboards that refresh daily without manual work, design alert systems that notify stakeholders when metrics hit certain thresholds, and deliver executive style presentations with clear action items and ROI projections. You see the difference? One person is is just reporting what happened. The other is building systems that prevent problems and drive decisions. Steve Jobs once said, innovation is the ability to see change as an opportunity, not a threat. The market is shifting. And while everyone else is panicking about AI taking their jobs, you can position yourself as the person who works with the technology and not against it. So what does this actually look like in this transition? Four core areas, and I'm going to be brutally honest about what good enough looks like for each one, because most people are learning way more than they need. First, your foundations will be Excel and data storytelling. Yeah, you still need Excel, not because you will be living in spreadsheets. You need it because it's where you learn to think analytically and communicate insights clearly. Here's exactly what you need to master. Pivot tables for quick analysis, Power Query for 
automated data cleaning and conditional formatting to highlight what matters. And then basic statistics and then functions like XLOOKUP, VLOOKUP and more. But here's the key thing. You need to learn data story principles in Excel first because you'll apply these same principles in every other tool later on down the line. Most people skip this and wonder why their Tableau dashboards don't look very good. I had a student who came from retail management and she spent a few weeks mastering Excel storytelling and then applied those same principles in Tableau. Then within three months, she was building dashboards that looked like they came from a consulting firm, not someone who just finished a YouTube tutorial. Second, BI tools. Pick Tableau or Power BI. It doesn't matter which one, just get really good at one first. But here's where most people mess up. They think building a dashboard means throwing 10 charts on a page and calling it done. Wrong. You need to design experiences that guide decision making. Every chart should answer a specific business question. Every color choice should direct attention. And every layout decision should make insights obvious and not hidden. Here's a framework that I teach my students. One chart, one decision. If someone can't look at your dashboard and immediately know what action to take, you failed. I'll give you an example. Most people build sales dashboards that show revenue by month, region, or product, basically a data dump. Third core area, consulting style slide decks, your secret weapon. This is where you separate yourself from 90% of the competition. Most analysts can't present their findings in a way that executives can actually care about. You need to learn the pyramid principle, lead with the answer and support with key insights and structure for decisions. Every slide should have an action title, not just a description. Instead of sales by region, your title should be West Coast sales are down 15%. So here's a framework, problem, analyze, insight, recommendation, and then next steps. That's it. Don't overcomplicate it. One of my students used this exact same approach in a take home assessment. And while other candidates submitted very ugly charts, she submitted a consulting style presentation with clear recommendations and ROI projections. She got the job and the salary bump that she requested. Fourth, SQL and Python, your automation superpowers. This is where the magic also happens and where most people get intimidated for no reason. For SQL, you need to learn joins, CTEs, window functions, and subqueries. You're not trying to become a database administrator. You're just learning how to pull and shape data efficiently. For Python, I want you to focus on two things, data cleaning with pandas and automation with scripts. Forget machine learning for now, forget deep learning. Focus on making your life easier through automation. Now, let me give you an end-to-end -end project blueprint because this is where most people get lost in theory instead of focusing on execution. A full stack data Data analyst gets a request to analyze customer churn. But instead of just building a dashboard and calling it done, here's exactly what they would do. Step one, data discovery and pipeline building. They don't just pull the data once. They'll build SQL queries that automatically pull customer data, transaction history, and support tickets from multiple databases. And they create Python scripts that can clean and combine this data, handling missing values and inconsistencies. Step two, analysis and insight generation. They identify the top three factors driving churn, not just correlation, but actual business insights. They segment customers by risk level and calculate the financial impact of losing each segment. Step three, dashboard and automation. They build interactive dashboards that update daily, showing real-time churn risk by customer segment. And then they create automated alerts that may notify the customer success team when a high value customer is showing warning signs. Step four, executive presentation and implementation. They deliver a consulting style presentation with specific recommendations, which customer they should prioritize, what interventions they need to implement, and projected ROI of retention efforts. This is not just analysis, this is a complete business transformation. And that's why these roles can pay as high as 150K plus. So here's exactly what you need to build to prove you can do the work. Pick an industry that you understand, or you want to learn more about retail, healthcare, finance, whatever. Find a real business problem in that industry. You can use ChatGPT, Perplexity, or even Claw to research the most high value problems in that industry if you don't know where to start. Build an end-to-end -end project that shows data pipeline automation with SQL and Python, interactive dashboards with a Tableau or Power BI, executive presentation with PowerPoint, and clear business impact calculating ROI. So here's what you need to understand. You don't need machine learning and you don't need to become a data scientist to make a lot of money in data. You don't need to spend years learning machine learning algorithms and statistics. Today, the full stack data analyst is the fastest and most practical route to earning six figures in data. It combines technical skills with business impact 
And companies are desperate to find these people who can do both. Why? Because most technical people can't communicate with business stakeholders and most business people can't build technical solutions. So you become the bridge and bridges are incredibly valuable. I've had students go from warehouse work to analytical roles in under six months using this exact same approach. Not because they were geniuses, but because they focus on the right skills and position themselves perfectly. So here's your choice. You can keep chasing the traditional data analyst roles and competing with thousands of other people for low paying positions that might not even exist in two years. Or you can start pivoting into full stack data analyst roles and position yourself for the roles that companies actually need filled. The market is telling you exactly what it wants. The question is, are you listening? If you're ready to make this shift and want the exact roadmap that my students use to land these high paying roles without going back to school, click the link in the description and I'll show you the exact step-by-step -step process and how to position yourself as a solution that companies are desperately looking to hire. Don't wait until everyone else figures this out. The opportunity is out there, but it won't stay wide open forever. So click the link and let's get you positioned for the career that you actually deserve.